Hi, I'm Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve long division. Long division. When solving problems using long division, you want to remember to divide, then multiply, subtract, then bring down. A lot of people use the acronym, does McDonald's sell burgers to help you remember that. If you can't remember the order, if you can remember does McDonald's sell burgers, then you may be able to remember that the first letter of each of those words is giving you a clue as to what you're going to do. D for divide, M for McDonald's for multiply, S for subtract, B for burgers. Let me show you how to solve a long division problem. Here's example number one. We have 486 divided by 3. If you are given a problem like this, you need to give it the correct setup. Crisscross applesauce is a quick little saying that I started using with my students to help them remember which numbers should be written first when we have to use long division. This is how I choose to explain dividing when you see this type of division sign. This type of division sign should tell you or remind you to use crisscross applesauce which just means draw two arrows across from each other. These arrows tell you where the numbers go. When you're setting up your long division the three comes over here. I'm gonna draw my division sign and my 486 486 comes over here. This is crucial. Many times this is where we mess up. Students will put one number outside that should be inside or vice versa. Or students always think any time there's a number that's smaller it goes on the outside. That's not always true. Sometimes a larger number may go on the outside. So crisscross applesauce will make sure you keep that correct. Now we need to divide. You should know single digit division um, which are really the reverse of multiplication facts at this point to start this. Okay, So if you already know that then we can go step by step with our division and we'll just remember the steps that we just learned on the last slide the acronym does I'll write this here McDonald's sell burgers okay so D that stands for divide how many times is four how many times does three go into four it goes in one time you multiply next so that means you multiply the one and the three and what do you get you get three so you write it in. Now you're going to subtract. That's my next step. You get 1. Now it's time to bring down. So I bring down my 8. It looks like I have an 18 here. Now I just repeat the whole process. I need to ask myself. I need to divide again. I'm not dividing 3 into 4 this time. I'm dividing 3 into 18. So how many times is 3 going to 18? It goes in six times. You write that up above. Multiply the number you just wrote down times the three. It's 18. It's time to subtract after you multiply. In this case you get zero. Now let's bring down our six. Now how many times does three go into six? We gotta divide. It goes in two times and it is 6. We're going to subtract and get 0. Whenever you end subtracting get 0 and you have no more numbers to bring down, you most likely did this correct. So the answer to example number 1 is 162. Let's move on to example number 2. Example number 2. Again, we have this type of division symbol, so I need to remind myself to set up my numbers with crisscross applesauce. 
So I have a 12 here. And I have a 204 here. 12 goes into 2 zero times. So I'm actually going to write a zero. And I'm going to just go on. Uh, I do not multiply my zero times 12. Write that. We don't need to do that. We can on, we can start the steps. Does McDonald's sell, sell burgers? Once we actually have a number large enough that our divisor can go into. So 12 can go into 20. So I am going to write my steps again to keep them fresh in my mind. Does McDonald's sell burgers? Okay. So 12 goes into 20 one time. Multiply. I get 12. 1 times 12 is 12. Subtract. And I get 8. Now it's time to bring down. Four. Now we just brought down, it's time to divide. How many times is 12 going to 84? Goes in there seven times. And it is 84. When I subtract, I get zero. Remember, like I told you before, that's a good sign. I have nothing left to bring down. And I ended with a zero. That's a very good sign that I most likely solved correctly. And yes, the answer to example number two is 17. Let's move on to example number three. Example number three. Crisscross applesauce. I'm going to write my uh, problem over here to make sure I have enough room so I'm not cramped at the bottom. So... This would be 22 here, and then 418 here. So I'm going to just transfer that over here. 22. four hundred eighteen, And our acronym is DOES McDonald's sell burgers. How many times does 22 go into 4? It can't go into 4, so I have to write a 0. How many times does 22 go into 41? It can go into 41. It can go into it one time. I write my 22 here. Subtract. We're going to have to regroup. If you're not so good with subtracting, you might want to go check out my subtracting 2 and 3 digit numbers. And I also have a subtracting with zeros video that could help you out if you're not so good here. I cannot take 2 from 1 so I must regroup turn this 1 into an 11 turn this 4 into a 3 2 from 11 is 9 2 from 3 is 1 now I've just subtracted it's time to bring down I bring down my 8 now I have 198 now I have to ask myself, how many times does 22 go into 198? That's a little tricky because that's kind of a big number. 198, you might look at that right off and think, geez, I don't know. That's a really big number. I don't know how many times, you know, I don't know my 22 timetables. You know, most people don't. Okay, so don't feel bad. But I will give you a trick. Um, I see that 198 is pretty close to 200. And I'm thinking about 22, and I'm thinking, I do know that anytime I multiply a number times 10, um, that's pretty much the same thing as adding a zero to that number. So in my head, I'm just trying to think about a number that's going to be pretty close um, to 198. And if 22 times 10 is 220, which 220 is pretty close to 198, I'm going to guess that maybe 22 times 9 is somewhere close. If you were to come to the side of your paper, sometimes you have to do this when you're working math, and you have to check to see if it works, to see if that's how many times it goes in evenly, we'll see that you get 9 times 2 as 8, 9 times 2 again is 8 again, add my 1, I get 198, so it's perfect. So 22 times 9, so I need to write in a 9. 
and write in a 198, subtract and get zero. So yes, there's no other numbers here. I've subtracted and I've gotten a zero. That's a really good sign that I got my answer correct. And the answer to example number three is 19. Let's move on to example number four. Example number four. I have 252 divided by 14. I'm going to start off with crisscross applesauce. I have 14. That, that's supposed to go with into 252. I'm going to get my acronym written down. Does McDonald's sell burgers? I'm pretty sure I'll have enough space here, so I'm not going to rewrite this problem. I'll work it right here. 14 going into 2. Can't do it. Write a zero in. 14 go into 25. You go, you just take one more digit. It couldn't go into two, so we're going to try it with two digits. 14 go into 25. It can go in, but only one time. When I multiply one times 14, I get 14. So I write it in. Now it's time to subtract. We just multiplied. It's time to subtract. Five minus four is one. 2 minus 1 is 1. We just subtract it. It's time to bring down. Now we need to figure out how many times 14 goes into 112. Most people don't learn their 14 timetable. So most people don't know what that's going to be. So we can use the same tip I showed you in the last slide. If I take 14 and multiply by 10, that would be the same thing as adding a zero to my 14. So that would be 140. So it looks like 112 is less than 140. So I don't need to go that high. Multiplying 14 times 10 is too large of a number to multiply by. So I could guess it might be 9 or it might be 8. I'm going to guess that it's 8, but I'm not 100% sure. So I need to come to the side of my paper. Multiply 14 times 8. When I do this, I get 4 times 8 is 32. 8 times 1 is 8 plus my 3. And I get 11. That's exactly what I need. 14 times 8 is 112. So when I subtract, I get 0. Let's move on to example number five. Crisscross applesauce. I'm not going to write the arrows this time because you're probably getting the hang of it. Eleven. See how many times that can go into 671. Eleven cannot go into six. I'm going to write my acronym. Does McDonald's sell burgers? 11 does not go into 6, so I write a 0. 11 does go into 67, and it would go in 6 times. And that would be 66. I'm going to subtract, and I get 1. My next step is to bring down, so I bring down a 1. How many times does 11 go in 11? It goes in at 1 time. So that is 11. Subtract and you get zero. I have nothing else to bring down and I have a zero. That's a really good sign. My answer to example number one is 61. For my last and final example, example number six, we have 392 divided by eight. Crisscross applesauce. Our eight will be on the outside. Our 392 will be on the inside. How many times does 8 go into 39? It goes into it four times. Did you see how I skipped checking the 3? Once you get used to it, I, you can quickly tell 8 does not go into 3. So you can skip that. You do not have to write the placeholder of a 0 once you become more comfortable. But if you would like to still, you can. Either way is fine. So. 8. So 8 times 4 is 32. Subtract and I get 7.
bring down my 2. 8 goes into 72 9 times. Oops, let's fix my 2. 0. I have nothing else to bring down. I ended with a 0. That is a really good sign that I solved my problem correctly. The answer to example number 6 is 49. That's the last of my examples. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, then head over to supereasymath.com for more math tutorials, printable video notes, worksheets, and more.